Guys, you might remember a couple of months ago, we showed you our very own 2022 Triumph Speed Twin. It's a bike we really liked, but we bought it with the intention of really making it our own. We wanted to build, at least in our eyes, the perfect Brit Twin. Now, we're not done yet, far from it, but I think you'll find we've made quite a lot of progress. So without any more theatrics, may I present the Infomoto Triumph Speed Twin Super Build. First ride. Oh my god, this thing sounds fucking insane. <laughs> Well, if nothing else, we've managed to achieve to build the world's most obnoxious <laughs> Triumph Speed Twin. Absolute riot. This thing sounds off its head. I knew we were building something special, but I didn't quite know how special. So what do you think it'll make, Cliff? Um, should make about 95 right now. No, you're 90, 95 until we map it. And then what do you reckon we can expect? Then I think if we can get to 105 to 110. I'll tell you what, it pretty, feels pretty fast already. <laughs> that, see that thing right there above your head? That's the fan. <laughs> and that serious. sucks all the, huh? Looks pretty serious. It's very serious, yeah. Cliffy, a pretty exciting day. For yeah, the yeah, very, very exciting, yeah. Twin. We got the thing on the dyno. What are we hoping to achieve from this? Well, okay, so what we did, we started with the standard bike. Mm. Now we've got our friend Barrick's exhaust on it now and a different air filter, and, and I'm about to tear it apart and, and put a cam and everything in it. So we want to see what the difference is between standard, which is 85, 86 horsepower, and see what it is with just bolt-on stuff. Yeah. And once we make a run, I hope to achieve 95 to 100. Somewhere in that neighborhood. Without a tune. Without a tune. This is just a this is a merely just a power run to see what difference the exhaust made. Okay, I'm I'm really excited to see yeah, just yeah, to hear yeah, it again. Yeah. So let's get into it. Yeah, yeah, let's get into it, yeah for sure. horsepower uh, and 84 84.9 foot pounds of torque so pretty much exactly what you hope for right right in the area what we we're looking for yeah most definitely fantastic yeah so that's that's it in a nutshell and uh yeah so now what we'll do is we'll take the bike back to back to the shop um we will then uh we will then uh tear it apart do the cam, put the secondary air injection kit on it, and then we'll bring it back to the dyno and then tune it to fine tune it and all that sort of thing. And hopefully we'll get up around the 105 mark, 105 to 110 mark. Rock uh -huh. and roll. Yeah, so it's healthy. 
it feels great. It's, uh, it, as you can see from the dyno run, it, you know, the power curve, there's, if you look at the, uh, the, the screen itself, the mapping of everything, the air fuel ratio is a little bit off here and there, and that's why we have to tune it. Okay, cool. Okay. Well, I reckon that's a tremendous result. Made 10 horsepower with an exhaust and an intake without any tune. I am never ever going to get over that sound, I don't think. Oh, we live another day. So impressive that you can make those kind of gains with just an exhaust and an intake. The guys at Verix have done such a good job with that pipe. And we haven't even spoken about the full Olin setup. Well, this thing turned out sicker than I ever could have imagined. I have to give credit to James Brandt, one of the InfoMoto founders, an all-round good bloke. He was the brainchild behind this thing. And what a job he's done. Let's head into the studio. And I'll show you all the things we've done so far. Because this thing is so pretty. And it's just done right. Sitting on it, it almost feels like a race bike. Overkill, you might say? Well, yeah. Maybe a little bit. But what's the fun in subtlety? Nothing in moderation. Everything in excess. So let me give you the tour of our Triumph Speed Twin. Last time you saw it, it was red. Well, obviously we have a full custom paint job. Um, I thought it was stenciled the first time I saw it, but I'm told it's all hand done. I was blown away when I saw it in person. All those lines are all done by hand. It looks outstanding. Of course, in InfoMoto's white, red and black color scheme um, represent, of course. Uh, you know from the last episode that we were gonna fit a Verex exhaust and full Olin suspension. Well, that stuff's on now. You've heard that Verex, it sounds off its head. Um, really makes a noise and the Olin suspension has really tightened up the steering of the bike. We need to set that up to really unleash its full potential. Uh, those front forks are borrowed from the previous generation Triumph Speed Triple 1050 and the rear ends from a Thruxton R. Lots of little cosmetic touches, uh, many of which are from Triumph's genuine parts catalogue. We've also got things like uh, Rocket 3 indicators, just a little bit more subtle, little LED setups. Um, the mirrors are also from a Rocket 3. Uh, aftermarket stuff includes Art & Works instrument faces. They look really pretty. They're a real highlight of the bike to me. They remind me of sort of early Porsche 911s, I think. They're subtle and tasteful, but they still really stand out. You'll also see more paintwork on the side covers there, just a nice little touch. And we couldn't help but black out some components like the chain guard, these uh, foot peg covers, uh, among other little spots all around the bike. The seat, of course, is custom solo seat with nice info moto and Triumph embroidery on the back. Also little things like a tail tidy. It's the first thing everyone does, isn't it? Um, oil filler cover. Lots of little touches the more you look around. A radiator guard. We're not done yet. There's still more to come, but I think we've made huge progress compared to the last time you saw this bike. So be honest, tell us what you think about our Triumph Speed Twin Super Build. Have we gone overboard? Have we not gone hard enough? Is it just right? That's where I'm leaning, but anyway. Let us know what you think. What should we do next? We've got plenty planned for this bike. Can't wait to hit the drag strip, the racetrack, even just a windy road. This thing has so much potential and I, I love it. <laughs> See you guys.
probably should wait till the next episode, but just as we were filming, uh, a new upgrade arrived. We've changed the seat again. We weren't quite happy with the last one. I think this one looks way slicker. I'm not too fussed either way, but I think that one looks a bit better. Anyway, we're actually going now. See you guys.